I'm an OEA member because um, education is a big part of my life. I've wanted to be a teacher all my life. And when I became a teacher in Bartlesville, I found out that we had an organization that helped teachers and that represented teachers and helped us become better teachers. And we just want to do the best that we can in order to educate kids. I have family. I have someone there to back me up. I have advocacy. I have benefits. I love OEA. I'm proud of OEA. I've been a teacher for nine years and through the nine years I've seen they've really uh, progressively uh, took a stand for teachers rights and help education in Oklahoma. In our building we are a 100% um, membership and it is very important to our, our uh, teachers to make sure that we do have a unified voice that we are able to discuss the issues at hand and get our opinion as teachers as a group, a collective group uh, out to the public and to our district and to the state. I believe in unity and uh, as a coach I believe in teamwork and we are a team of teachers and that is why I'm a member. I believe in what we do as teachers through association work. I'm 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 OEA. I'm an OEA UCTA member because it's a great way for me to keep involved and make a difference in the way education runs not just at my school, but also at the state level. Um, I was a young teacher, and our administrator decided to do away with our association. And it was going to be a vote at our school board. We called OEA. We, brought, uh, we were going to bring in some attorneys. Uh, but that night, we had a terrible snowstorm in Durant. And I thought, there's no way they're going to be able to get here. But they flew in three attorneys from OEA. They came in to the school board meeting. They were dressed in suits and shiny shoes. And I thought at that time, I want to be a member of this association. If I'm in trouble, I want those shiny shoes and those guys in suits to represent me. I'm really proud to be part of an organization that there were people before me that saw the future, saw it, went through all of the hardships that's been suffered to get us to where we are today and that I'm going to be part of that legacy to create improvement for future teachers. Well, I like the benefits, and I, I want uh, the most that I can get out of teaching. Through meetings like this, I'm learning more about what is needed to be done to achieve those things. I asked my sister, because she's a teacher, what if I needed to join and she asked she said do you want to go to a doctor who's not a member of the AMA and I said no I don't she said then you need to join and so I filled out the paperwork and I joined two years later I was president-elect <laughs> I'm 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 OEA I'm a proud BAEA OEA member because I'm a child advocate I like the leadership qualities that the BA BAEA and OEA promote. They've helped develop my leadership abilities and I enjoy working with a group of teachers, professionals that we can gather together and support each other and help make a difference. When I first became a teacher I was taken in by a bunch of career teachers and they told me that I needed to join. It was the right thing to do. So I became a member because that's what they told me I needed to do. For the representation the people, uh, I feel important, they make you feel important, and when they say they're going to take care of you, they're there to take care of you. In OEA, make sure that there's that unified front, that there's that unified push, and that that then goes from a state level back to the local levels, back to every teacher so that they have a chance to have a voice and to be heard in a way that's meaningful and available to people who think they know what's best for education but don't always have the best information to make those decisions. So that's why I'm an OEA member. I'm. 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 I'm OEA.